The final question in this set is another redox um, titration. So let's write out our um, process. First bit is the equation. So what are we reacting together? We're reacting iron 2 because it's iron sulfate. Remember the sulfate ions are SO42 minus. So the iron in that must be iron 2. Uh, it also tells you that here. Um, and then uh, we're reacting that with potassium dichromate. So we've got Fe2 plus goes to Fe3 plus plus an electron. And we've got the dichromate iron Cr2072 minus goes to make Cr3 plus. So first thing is to balance the chromiums, then balance the oxygens with water, then balance your um sorry your hydrogens and then you'll find that you need to add six electrons to this side if you work it all out so therefore you need to multiply this top one up by six to cancel out and so our ratio is going to be six to one so we'll need that a little bit later our next step is to work out moles so what can we work out number of moles of we've got a volume and we've got a concentration of potassium dichromate so moles of the potassium dichromate, or the dichromate ion, sorry, Cr2072 minus, will equal 23.7 times 0 0.01 over 1,000, which gives us uh, 2.37 times 10 to the minus 4. Now let's use our ratio we've just worked out, which was 6 to 1, so we can work out our moles of the Fe2 plus, which equals 2.37 times 10 to the minus 4 times by 6, and that gives us 1.422 times 10 to the minus 3. Then, as ever, we've got a, um, a multiplication to do, because we've got 250 centimeters cubed, and, it's, and we took 25 from that. So our moles of Fe2 plus in 250 centimeters cubed equals 1.422 times 10 to the minus 3 times by 10, which equals 1.422 times 10 to the minus 2. Now, you can get to that point without having to really understand what the question wants you to do uh, by following those, those steps. And if you did that, and actually that's probably going to be um, a, good, a good three or four marks, so the next step, of us, or according to our E, Mr. T, is the appropriate triangle. And you've got to work out what it's asking you to work out. So it says to calculate the percentage of iron 2 ions that have been oxidised by the air. So what you're doing, if you read back in the question, it's said that they left the solution to stand exposed to air. And some of the iron 2 that was there was oxidised to iron 3. So what you've done is a titration that has oxidised the rest of the iron 2 ions that weren't oxidised. So this number here is the moles of the iron 2 that wasn't oxidised, but you want to work out the amount of iron 2 that was oxidised. So next step is to work out um, what mass this is of the iron sulphate. Um, so what you can do is the mole that so the mass of iron sulfate that that represents is 1.422 times 10 to the minus 2 times by the MR which is here so 277.9 uh, and that gives us three point nine five. So that means those 3.95 kind of grams of iron sulfate left after the iron 2 had been oxidized to air. So the amount of iron 2 that was oxidized to air out of the 10 grams would be 10, or if we go back to black so you can see it, 10 take away 3.95, which gives us um, 6.05. So the percentage would be 6.05 divided by 10 times 100, which gives 60.5%.